Hey, what's up, Good Vibe Tribe? I want to do a quick impromptu uh, spot brief on robo spots. Now, this one here is a manually operated robo spot. Most of the buttons that you see on this keypad here are for switching faders if we had control over such things. Uh, for this particular show, we basically only have a fader and an iris. The uh, dowser being right here and the iris being right back here. And the cool thing about these robos is you can see the exact percentage of how big your iris is and how much intensity your dimmer or your dowser has. Whereas on a traditional spot, you kind of guesstimate. Like over here, you know, you have your, your tabs marked out at your percentages, 25%, 50%, whatever it is. Uh, you know, you have your, your dowser or your dimmer up here, your iris down here, and then the chopper, which is hardly ever used. Most people tape that off so they don't grab it accidentally. But that's the old fashioned way of just guesstimating where your percentages are. And you're, you're never at 100%, it's always close. But that's why with these robo spots, it's easy for you to know exactly what percentage you're at. And they can also set that from the board downstairs in addition to you setting it up here. Of course, the Telrad is the same as it is on any spot. I don't know if I'll be able to bring it up here so you can see it, probably not. Unfortunately, no, but um, I'm not going to be able to pick it up here on the camera But you look through there and you see a bullseye and you're able to uh, Turn on your spotlight and know where it's going to show up once you um, Turn on your spot and show it up on the floor so um, Basically another thing about these robo spots. I wasn't real excited about them when they came out um, You know typically if you're using them in a concert or an arena you're stuck in a closet or a room somewhere you can't really see the show at all other than what's on your screen and you can't really hear the music all that well the few times that I have been put out in a concert near where the action was I couldn't really see that much of the show other than what was on my screen because you have to pay attention to what's, your, what's on your screen so you can run the spot effectively but these robo spots are the future of spotlight operation uh, these huge giant Spotlights that you see here. They're on their way out. You hardly ever see them at the arenas anymore um, There are more and more being replaced at the at the stadiums and festivals And I always thought that they were here to stay in theaters But here we have uh, the robo spots um, Becoming more common in theaters as well. So eventually in my opinion uh, I predict that we're going to lose spot operators altogether. You know, eventually they're going to be able to do everything at the board or um, certainly not have a, a need for local spot ops as they do now. And then all of this history on the board is going to be a thing of the past. And uh, I think spot ops will fall by way of cable pagers. You know, we see very few cable pagers on gigs today because most cameras are cordless. Uh, so that, in addition to... Uh, you know, projectionists is another position that we used to have in the stagecraft industry that is going away, and I think spot ops will be the next to go. But uh, for now, um, that's our robo spot brief.